everyone. I'm back today with a video that I'm really excited about and that is to show you how to make these little pockets that I put into my crafty projects. Um, they are also good to go into planners. So if you're into planners and you want to make your own pocket to fit in your planner, I will show you how to do that. So these are some examples of ones that I have made recently and haven't used yet. Or actually, I made some of them earlier, but anyway, I haven't used them yet in a project. And then I was going to show you some examples of ones that I have made and used in past projects and then walk you through actually creating some of them. So uh, you can make these in many different sizes, whatever size you need for your project. So let me share some examples with you. So I've definitely used them a lot in October Daily. So here's an example of one that I use for day 25. And it just is a pocket, a three pocket folder. So there's one here, one here, and then there's also one in the back, which you could put something in as well. I didn't end up using that, but it's there if I wanted to. And then it's fun to add all kinds of embellishments and charms onto the pockets. Sometimes I do some messy sewing just to give it a little bit more texture. So I have that one there. And then that's a smaller size one. And then I created this one, which is a five pocket folder. So you have a pocket here, you have a pocket behind that. Let me take out the pictures so you can see what it looks like. There's the pocket in the back. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So we'll be going through how to do a five pocket folder and the three pocket folder. Now I don't remember how I had these in here. <laughs> so I'll just stick them back in. And then in the back I've added a little tag that holds some hidden journaling. So that's always a fun way to use the back pocket on these. Here's another example. These are both from last year. So I have, a, this is a three pocket again. I usually use that one because it's not as thick, but it's fun sometimes to create the five pocket one. So again, I just added some embellishments, added a little tag on here, added a sticker here, did some messy stitching. This one is probably one of my very favorites. This is one I made in 2019. Yeah, 2019. And it's a three pocket. So it has a pocket here, the pocket in the back, and then it has the back pocket for journaling and I just added on this embellishment here or this die cut and a little charm embellishment I just love how this one turned out and you can see I left my strings because I wanted it to be super messy and textured so that was fun I created another one this year this one is the five pocket one so it just looks like that. So I just have different photos and ephemera in there. I have a tag and then I added ribbon so you can add lots of texture. I kept the strings on here as well. This one I just put a tag um, with pictures on so I didn't do hidden journaling other than it's hidden inside the pocket. So that's another fun example. And then I also have done one in my Project Life album. So this is a six by 12 size. So my pocket is six inches. Um, plus I added on these little tabs to make sure that it fit in the rings without having to cut. So usually I just cut into the pocket and stick it right in the rings, but I wanted enough space to be able to add the bigger photos in there. And this one has, let's see, one, two, three, four, and then back pocket as five. So lots of different things that you can do for this. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make 
a four by six pocket, a pocket for a traveler's notebook, a little small uh, field note size one, and then how to make one for six by eight albums. So let's get started. Okay, so let me go through the supplies that you'll need. So first thing you're gonna need is a way to score your paper. So you need a scoring board. You'll need a bone folder. You'll need obviously a paper trimmer or a way to cut your paper. Scissors. You're gonna need a pencil. You will need a hole punch, a ruler, and you'll need either a sewing machine or you're gonna need some way to adhere your uh, pocket together. So I would recommend if you're not gonna use a sewing machine to use red line tape because it's super strong and these are gonna be outside a page protector and you're gonna have things moving in and out of the pockets. So I would recommend red line tape. And I usually just sew all my pockets because it adds extra texture and it's just fun. So, and then the last thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need paper. So my tips for paper are to pick something that is has a high contrast. You want double-sided paper and you wanna pick a high contrast from the front and the back so that when you put them together, it has that, that nice contrast to it. So this is 12 by 12 and I usually end up using a 12 by 12. I have another one here where I'm actually gonna use three, well, I'm gonna use two papers, but I'm gonna use three patterns. So I'll use this one, this one, and then I'm gonna add this in there as well, just to give it a little pop of color. And then this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I have high contrast paper, double-sided, and then that as well. So figure out what combination I want to use for my pocket here. And this will be six by eight. This is going to be my little traveler's notebook one. And then this will be a four by six, which you could easily adapt to be a four by four, because I know that's a popular size for October daily. And this will go in my October daily this year. Um, if you want to make a page that's larger then you can, um, instead of using two-sided paper or double-sided paper, you can use two different pieces of paper and um, just sew them or adhere them together. So you can do this for any, any size you want. So let's start with the four by six. So first thing that you're gonna wanna do, actually let me trim off the branding strip here. You're going to want to figure out which side of the paper you want as the background and which one you want in the front. One tip is to be careful of the direction of the paper and really pay attention to that. So you don't want to have this as your background and then fold it and find that your pumpkins are upside down or whatever your design is, design is, is upside down. If you really want this as your background page, or sorry, if you want this as your background page and this as one of the pockets in the front, then you can just cut um, instead of folding and so that it will fit the right direction. So that'll make sense as I go through more. So what you want to do is figure out First of all, what size pocket do you want to make? Since I'm making a four by six, um, I'm going to double, and for all sizes, you're going to double the size of the width that you want. So for a four by six, I want to have my width be 12 inches. For a four by four, I'd want my width to be eight inches. For um, my traveler's notebook, which is three and a half by five, three and a half wide by five, and a half long. I want it to fit a little bit inside of the of the notebook. So I would want to do a three inch pocket. So my width that I need to cut would be six inches. 
So hopefully that makes sense. If you want a pocket for, uh, for a six by eight album, you would do 12 again as your width. Um, that will be the inside the page protector size. So when you punch the holes, it'll be a little bit narrower. If you want a full pocket outside the page protector size, you'll have to use two pieces of paper and adhere them together. So you would do seven inches um, on one, you know, you cut one page down to seven inches and then another down to seven inches so that you have that full width. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this. I usually just fold it in half instead of scoring. It's easier that way on these 12 by 12. And then get your bone folder out and kind of really crease that fold. Okay. So for the link, what I wanna do is a little bit more than half of the length that you want. You're gonna cut it like that. So if you want a four by six, you're probably gonna cut um, nine inches because it's gonna be four inches this way and then you'll have a little bit of room to fold it up to make the pocket. For a six by eight album, you would want about, let's see, six inches plus uh, at least four inches, so about 10 inches. Um, so I will also include those sizes down below. So that's where your scoring is gonna come in. Um, well, first of all, back up. Uh, I want to cut this down to my eight inches that I was just talking about. And then hang on to your extra paper that you cut off. Okay. So then I'm going to score it at the height of whatever my finalized pocket is going to be. So for this one, since I'm doing four by six, I will score it at four inches. Okay. And then just fold it up like that. And I'm gonna really crease that edge. Fold it in half, crease this way. So now I have the basics of my pocket. So I'm gonna have pumpkins as my background and I'm gonna have a pocket that's this black and white stripe. So obviously this is too tall for what I want. So I need to figure out where I want, how high up on this page I want the pocket to go. And you should keep in mind hole punching. So for the four by six album, there's holes like up here and down here. So you could actually draw in where the holes are gonna go so that you kind of can see when you have it in the rings, where do you want that pocket to fall? And you don't wanna cut a hole in like half of the pocket. Um, I'm just going to pull this over, which I've already, um, punched holes in and just draw out where the holes are going to be. So you can see right there is where the hole is going to be. So I want to start my page, or sorry, my pocket probably right below that. So I'm just going to mark, just kind of eyeball it. And then where do I want it to finish? So I need to have a little bit of room here as a pocket, so I don't wanna cut all the way down to the bottom, although you could if you want just like a corner pocket, but I wanna cut it about here. So I basically just eyeball it. I think it's easier that way, but you could figure out what dimensions you like and then measure it out. So then I'm going to take my ruler and just draw a line connecting those two points. Unfold your paper 
fold it in half again lengthwise, and then you're gonna cut it on the trimmer or cut it with scissors. And I try to cut it just above the line so you're not gonna see that. Okay, and you have another extra piece, so hang on to that. And now when you fold it back, there you go. You have the two pocket, I guess three pocket, one, two, three. And then you can just adhere on the side and on the bottom. Um, I usually go in and sew around at this point. Um, you can also, if you want to have sewing on the edges, make sure that you do that before you sew the sides down. So I usually take it and just run it through my sewing machine like this, then fold it back up and run here through the sewing machine. Okay, um, so that's a, the, uh, the three pocket. Now let's say you wanna add and make the five pocket. So if you want to use the pumpkin paper, you can take this extra piece that you just cut off, fold it this way, and add it onto your page, which is really simple. Um, easiest thing to do, right? So you can, and I would do that before you sew everything together. Just take this, add any stitching that you want around here and then sew here and then you would sew everything together. So if you want a different piece of paper, um, which I didn't want for this one so I don't have that out and I'll show it in another, uh, another tutorial that I'm doing, the next one I'm doing, you can take this and actually just copy it onto another piece of paper and then cut it out. So let's say I wanted like a black pocket here. I could just trace this onto a black piece of paper and do the same thing. Another thing that you can do is cut it down and have the pocket going this way. So you have two pockets the same direction. So hopefully that makes sense. So I'm not going to adhere or sew everything together yet. Let me make the other pockets and then I'll sew everything together. So the next one I'm going to do is the one that I'm going to put in my traveler's notebook. So again, I said it was going to be um, three, three by five. So I want to go six by 10 and cut this out. So we're going to cut six. And 10. Fold it in half with whatever side you want as your background facing, facing you. And then whatever you want as your little accent pocket will be on the inside. And this paper is thick, so I definitely want to score. Okay. Open it back up and then decide how high you want that pocket to start. Um, I actually cut this a little bit too long. I didn't want it the full size of the pocket, so I probably want it more like eight to start with. Again, I'll have the dimensions below. Okay, so then I want it to be kind of a tall pocket, so I'll add it there. And like I said, it's just easier to kind of eyeball where you where you want it to be. And you can always cut it lower if you want. So you will know when you fold it, you may have some extra 
where it doesn't fully cover and go to the edge. I don't really mind that. I usually just sew that in, but if it bothers you, you can just cut it a little bit shorter so that it all matches up evenly. I can make it a little bit closer. Okay, and then again, I'm gonna figure out how much of this pocket do I want, you know, how much um, slant do I want on the pocket? mark that out so I kind of want it to be taller so I'm gonna go like this okay unfold cut along that line And there would be the three pocket folder. But I mentioned that I want to add in another color because I think just having another color on here will just add a little bit more contrast. So what I think I'm gonna do for this one is make the same size pocket. So let me cut this down first to the six inches. did I make the pocket so it's about a little over four and a half so just about like right there whoops nope that's not four and a half okay right there fold it in half Then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to trace it. Cut. So if you're doing this with a pattern paper, again, just be really careful of the direction of the paper. I have definitely messed that up before and wasted some cute paper. Okay. So let's put this one together. So now I have to decide if I want it Oops. see <laughs> pay attention to the direction. Do I want it on the outside? I don't think I do. I like the leaves better. Actually I can I kind of like this way better. So I'm just gonna put it in the middle and fold it that way. This one's gonna be a little thick. This is Cardabella paper and they're usually thicker. So I would just sew that. So down here, so right here, if I wanted to do any stitching again on the edges, I would sew first this in make sure it lines up right and then so here and here so that's just gonna stick in I have a little field notes let me show you a little field notes that I'm taking on a trip so I'm just gonna kind of stick that in washi tape it in so I have a little pocket okay so for my six by eight album size, I wanna do outside the page protector. So I have, I decided to use this pattern. And so I will cut seven by eight and a quarter for here and this one. So this will be my background. And then I'll use this as my pocket on the front. So first I'm gonna cut off the branding strip. Is 
that right? Is that the right size? Let me check. I don't want to cut it wrong. So it's seven by yeah, eight and a quarter. And a quarter. All right, and I'm going to do the same with this one. I can just sew those ones back to back and I'll have leave this open so I have the pocket at the top like that and then I have I have to get the paper that I want to go on the outside I just have to decide what I want and I don't have enough left over from what I cut down because the direction is wrong if I go like that, right? <clears throat> and it's not quite wide enough. So I'm gonna need three pieces <laughs> of this paper to make this pocket. And again, careful of direction. You want your lights hanging down. So I'm going to Decide what I want here. I think if I want to do this on both sides, I'm going to have to do it at six inches high. So let's cut this branding strip off. And we're going to do six inches high. We're going to do eight and a quarter wide. Okay. And I have one for the front, one for the back. Oh, I only need seven wide. in wide. Okay, so then I just have to decide the angle again. So I will take my ruler my pencil and let's look at it. I think I should also put the holes in here so I know where they're going to be. There's going to be a hole right there. So I want to start right below that. Okay. Can I see that? And I want to end like right here. So take your ruler, draw 
that out. I'm also going to cut the back at the same time so it's the same size and make sure that I have the angling right. So do I have the angling right? This one. No, the opposite. So it would go like that direction. Or if I cut it like this, it will be the same. And is that going to be weird to have diagonal? Mm. Diagonal? <laughs> I don't know. This paper was harder than I thought. Okay. We're going for it. We're just going to go for it. Make sure I have the line on there correctly. Okay. So now it looks like this. This. That looks good, right? Now let's do the other side. So for this one, we could add this back on, but I kind of don't like that. So let's go for a different pattern. Let me go find a pattern. What about this black and white one? That could be really cute. All right, we're going for this one. This is why I buy lots of extra paper. Because <laughs> I mess up. Cut off the branding strip again. Cut it down to seven inches. I'm not going to be able to, no, maybe I'll, okay. So we want opposite. Cut. There we go. There we go. That's much better. Okay, then this side. Oh. It's gonna be more difficult because I need it to go this direction. So I need to go like this. And I think I can just cut like this. I just have to sew all of this together. So what I'm going to do is sew on along here, along here, um, before I put it all together. And then I'll sew around like this. And then do the same for the back side. And it'll connect on the sides and the bottom and the top. I'll have to sew all, you know, I'll have to sew up on the sides so then it's just the top that's open. So definitely this size outside the page protector is more challenging, but it's doable. It just takes a lot of paper and making sure that you, um, you know, it'd probably be easier if you're not using patterns that have a direction like that. Okay, I'm back. It's later, so I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit different. But I wanted to come back and show you that I finished the stitching on the pockets and what they look like finished. 
So this is my four by six pocket. I did really messy stitching along the edge here and I left all of the threads because of course I like that messy texture. And I even went through and kind of roughed up the edges on the top and on the edges here. And then I just punched the holes. So now it's ready to go in my album. It does look a little bit plain down here, but I will add embellishments, um, maybe a charm, die cuts, who knows? So the great thing about these is that you can just add all kinds of things to make them cute. You can add a paper clip, you can add a ribbon, you can add charms, you can add um, die cuts, stickers, all kinds of stuff. So really excited for that one. This one ended up being so cute and I really felt like adding this little tag in here. So this I didn't punch holes in, it'll just fit into my notebook. I'm gonna probably just washi tape it in. So I have plenty of spots for different, you know, different tuck spots here. I did stitching along both of the pockets and then just along the outside edge. And you can stick the tag in there if I feel like it. So we'll see. Love how that one turned out. And then I have this one, which was my first attempt at doing a one that's outside the page protector size. So it was a little more difficult, but I got it done and I like how it turned out. So I have pockets, um, five pockets, one, two, three, four, and then the one in the top. And I will again be able to just embellish this, maybe put the number, the day number, um, acrylic, who knows, whatever, whatever I feel like at the time. So they look a little bit plain right now, but will be great for my project. And then I also made a bonus page. This one I did with two um, 12 by 12 pieces of paper. I cut them down to seven wide by eight and a quarter. Well, I scored them at eight and a quarter and just folded it up. So I have this pocket here and then I just glued them back to back and punched holes and I did stitching around the edges. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will be back soon with another video. Thanks.